Hello everybody, this is Chris, and today we're going to get started on our Laravel picture app, or picture uploading app. So we'll just go ahead and dive right into the code now. I've already taken out the index and already generated a key in the terminal, which is what you should always do when you're starting a new Laravel application. So I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to go into PHP My Admin. I'm going to create a new database called Pix. And I'm going to go back into my application, go into my database.php file and change this to Pix since I'm using um, MySQL. Next, I'm going to go ahead and set up all migrations. See, we haven't have any migrations yet. And so we're going to we're going to have a user table to hold our users' information. Then we're going to have a photo uh, a photo table to hold our photo our the information on our photos, not necessarily our photos themselves. They'll be stored on the server in a, uh, a folder on the server. So. I'm going to go ahead and create the uh, user table first. So, and I'm using, if you've not seen it in my tutorials before, I do use a generator by Jeffrey Way. And so I'm just going to say PHP artisan generate migration, call migration create users table and then I'm just going to use a username which is type string email which is type string and a password which is type string okay so here we have our first migration that looks good let's go ahead and create our photo table. So we're just going to go up and just create another one. So I'm just going to say create photos table here. Where is it? Here. Okay. In this photo table one of the first things we'll have, we're going to have a user ID to link it to the user, link the photo to the user. So we have a user ID, type of integer. Then we need to store the pics location on the server. So the, ser the actual path to the file. So we're going to store that in location and it's going to be type string and then we're just going to um, store the description so the description okay so description is type string okay so we have those two migrations we're going to go ahead and php artisan migrate install this will install Laravel's migration table and then we'll go ahead and make a, our database our tables rather our schema so if we go back into our database here and we go into pics here you can see we already have our tables Okay, so now that that's set up, we're ready to start working on our the main part of our application. So stay tuned for the next video.